Hello, beautiful souls and family of life. Hello, hello, hello. If you are coming into the room, please say hello. If you're watching this on replay, let me know as well. I have finished, uh, not that long ago, absolutely amazing healing session with one of my one-on-one -on -one clients. And I wanted to share with you a few things that came up there, which came up for myself just only a few days ago again. And I know many of you is going to benefit from that in a huge way because we all know what is really good for us. We all know how to eat healthy. Okay. We all know how to do it. We all know what is good for us. And we know as well how and where find information we don't have. So we do have the tools, okay? Let's agree on that. We do have the tools. We know what's good for us. We know when it's the best to do it. And if we don't know, we know how to find that information. It is out there. It's depending on us actually sitting down and researching it. But why we don't do what we know and believe is the best for us. And I wanted to talk about it here because I know any one of you who is watching that video is going to benefit from it in a smaller or a bigger way. It was life changing for me, but it is one of these treasures that they cannot be just once seen and put on the side. It's like the lesson uh, for me as well, and for many people I work with so far, the lesson constantly has to be revisited and seen and looked at it like in a fresh, entirely new way. And I'm sipping on a coconut. Mm, it's so yummy. My beloved has got me a coconut and I wanted to share that with you. If you are entirely new over here, my name is Elisa Mozan. I am an energy healer and a spiritual mentor. I have entirely changed my whole life and manifested not just within me, but outside of me, the life of my dreams. For many years, I was able to manifest internally the way I feel within me and around me, the way I am, the energy I emanate. But for a long time, I was unable to manifest a new job, a whole new lifestyle, moving from Scotland to Florida, uh, uh, quitting my nine to five. It wasn't happening until, until I hit that nail in the head. Uh, on that, another time, and you can as well access the three day life event where I talk about it through the links attached here. And I am helping people heal their energy so they can straight on the point, go, remove the blocks, manifest what they desire. That's the experience my clients are having, one after another. So we spoke about on the session that I just had, and I remember the last few days when I was processing lunar eclipse uh, frequencies, which were very challenging for me as a Scorpio to process what is meant for Scorpios to the depth, yet it brought me, by going deeply into it, it brought me a really high frequency experience. It helped me liberate myself on a deeper level than I did so far, but as well helped me go to the depths of the source. It helped me go to the core of joy and beauty and that feeling of, of just feeling so aligned. But that didn't happen, wouldn't happen if I wouldn't be working intensively every single day on myself. If I wouldn't be learning and relearning the things that they are meant for me to experience and learn and use on my own journey. And that wouldn't happen without having the head on one on one help and support that I have from my own coach. So all of that together creates a really powerful experience 
that no longer needs to go down rock bottom in order to bring something good up or, or, or expand from it, but creating from good into even better. So that's what I've been doing. And in this experience, I've realized they are things that I know are really good for me and I've been doing them for a while, but recently I am not. So if you are somewhere there on your journey where you know what's good for you, a meditation, a breath work, reading the book that it is so good and filled up with spiritual teachings and lessons, maybe it is actually drinking more water and eating healthy, going into nature, you know all these things, but yet something else and someone else is always more important than you doing it, okay? So most of the time we are not allowing ourselves to receive what we truly desire because there is an internal conflict within us. Once you can figure out what is that your internal conflict within you that you are going up against because you're like, I know it's good for me. I know it's good for me to wake up at 5 a.m. I know it's good for me to, by seven or eight, already have done my spiritual practice, my breath work, my meditation, my yoga, my energy movement, my walk, my grounding, my sun gazing, whatever it is. You know it's good for you, but you don't do it. Every day you wake up at eight and you feel bad. You allow them, the way of thinking, make you feel even worse about it. Okay, that's, that's, that's my case. So for some reason, you're going against something. And that's the internal conflict we are talking about. When you can pinpoint exactly on your own, what is it? Phenomenal, amazing, ah, hallelujah moment to you. You can learn from it. You can grow from it and expand from it into a brighter expression of light you desire to be today in this chapter of your journey or jump into the next one. If not, you're gonna need to sit down with yourself and look at it. And look at it and look at your own value and world systems. Because once you can actually sit down with yourself, with that shadow of you, the things we've been conditioned to run away from. Because we've been taught, <laughs> God forbid, the last thing you can ever do for yourself is to sit with you in silence. This is, you, you cannot. You need to drink alcohol, you need to take drugs, you need to uh, go and run away. You need to constantly occupy yourself with fulfilling others' needs. Never ever go into your own one. That's the core of codependence, okay? I'm using the way I speak about it in funny way because once you heal from something, it's really good to laugh. It's really good to laugh at it. And if you are in a seriousness mode at the moment about it, maybe you're just starting to heal your codependency. It might be challenging for you to look at it in this way, but that's the way it works for me right now. So allow yourself to sit with that stuff and, and look at it. Okay, I know this is good for me. I know this is what I would benefit from so much. I know that this specific course or person or a group of people would shoot me up on my own game, in my own business, so high and so fast. Yet, I'm listening to why not. I'm not taking that action, I'm not doing it. I know it's good for me to cleanse my skin and do my face mask and all of it, but I don't do it. So what is it that you do in your life? You know it's good for you. Every day or every week you think about it, but you don't do it. And remember as well, each time you think about it, in a way you're doing something wrong or you don't do what's right, you're pressing and suppressing down even more resistance towards you. So you charge yourself with even more particles of frequency of guilt and shame. I seen it. I know you're doing something wrong. That's not okay. Shame on you, Eliza. Okay? So each time you do that, every single thought, Every single day that goes by without you doing the thing you know it's the best for you, you're accumulating more and more guilt and shame. 
if you can sit with it, it will be challenging because you are now facing all of this accumulation of guilt and shame. And it can be overwhelming and it can be extremely painful. I know. I know. Trust me, I know. I was a world-class <laughs> queen sponge of sponging other people's guilt and shame and, and being a sponge for this lower frequency. So I know what does it feel like to sitting down with yourself when you are overflowing with those unpleasant energies. So trust me, it gets easier, it gets better, and it gets really smooth and nice when you work with someone who did it already. Okay, so if you cannot do it on your own, hire someone, get the team, allow yourself to receive something different in your life. Because from different actions, come different thoughts, from different thoughts, different emotions, and then again, different actions, different results at the end of it. And, and look within and look at it, what am I going against? Okay, what am I going against? So usually we go against belief that I've got to take care of someone else first. Someone else or everyone else is more important than I. And their opinion of me decides of my worth and value. And when you can pinpoint and look at it, where am I giving my power away by allowing my mind, old conditioned mind to tell me that if I will take care of someone else first, it means that I'm taking care of me or that's okay. Okay? So if you're taking care of someone else first and they're not a child or infant and you don't find time for yourself, you create a, a dynamic, a codependence dynamic because you are trying to pour from an empty cup and then you are feeding everyone and everything around you with empty energy. And, and then, you know, there is a question, where is the lack? Because we operate from, a, from an energy of lack and I did it all myself. I would constantly be so focused on what others think of me. And I did it subconsciously. I just had no idea that was my subconscious program. So feeding others first instead of feeding yourself first. Because we always have time for that juicy, beautiful breath. We always have time for ourselves, whether it's five minutes or five hours, it's depending. But we still have the time to go within and look within. And what we realize actually is that we don't do these things because we don't feel worthy of receiving the results that come from taking those actions. Okay? And that's a huge revolutionary thing that I founded for myself and for everyone I work with so far. I am not taking care of myself first. Because deep, deep, deep inside of me, very deep inside of me, I just don't feel worthy of having that which I desire. So I know what I want, I know what I need, but I don't, and I know what actions are, are, are I need to take in order to do it. I know who I need to hire, I know what things I need to think and feel and do every day. And if you don't do it, if you know it, and if you don't do it, it means you don't feel worthy to receive the frequency that would come out as a result of taking these actions. So you're not worthy of being in the frequency of being in love with life, for example. Okay. So let me give you just a different example. Back in the day, I was chasing people who would tell me that they love me or who would express the love for me or whose love towards me I would feel because I didn't know how to love myself. I didn't know how to take care of myself. So instead of every single day having my attention focused on me, reaching out to my source of unconditional divine love, which I had no idea about back in the day, my all energy and focus was going into scanning my environment, online environment as well, to find someone who would do it. And I did it not knowing about it. I just thought that's the process. I'm young, I'm supposed to be in a relationship and they supposed to make me happy. Eh, eh, it didn't work. It didn't work. And it took me eight years of being single to realize that I got this all wrong. The love comes within, from me to me. And when I am overflowing with that wholeness 
love frequency, that's when I can manifest and attract into my field love and wholeness frequency of someone else. And instead of coming to halves, hoping and begging to create wholeness, which it doesn't work, by the way, guys. <laughs> News alert. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, it only comes from wholeness, joining another wholeness and sharing together from a place of wholeness. And if one of us is not in a place of wholeness, which is only a human being, we know how to self-regulate, to not be in lack inside and tear someone else apart, if that makes sense. Okay, lovelies, I'm going to finish with that. If you struggle in any shape and form, you know what's good for you. You know what you want. You know what actions you need to do or where to go and find them and you don't do it. Please look into the unworthiness deep within you and approach and see as well how that unworthiness is manifesting. Is it a thought of what others will think of it? Oh no, that's too crazy. I really desire it, but that's not what my parents taught me. Okay, so look how that unworthiness is manifesting. And at the end of the day, please know that it is only a voice in your head that pretends to be someone else. And it is just a voice in your head. You do not lo you do not have to obey. You can obey your heart's desires, which is true you, true soul energy, true joy and pleasure that wants to be expressed in your own unique way. And if you feel like you are ready to step up on your journey and join me for four months of revolutionary life changing experience of mastering your energy and learning how to not allow any lower frequency to take you out of alignment, learning how to find this unworthiness and how it shows up and take care of it in a new way, in a loving way, in a kind way. If you want to expand and grow on your journey, Maybe it's a desire that you would like to be in a beautiful, loving relationship, okay? This is for you. Maybe your desire is to expand in your own business. Quit your 9 to 5 and energetically become the frequency that allows it to receive it, okay? If this is you, this mastermind is for you. Energy Mastery Empire starts very soon. Let me know or check through the link attached if you feel called to join us and learn how I did it. Learn how I do it every day to not allow the old self take me out of the game. And if I have challenging time, like I had the last few days, whoa, I had a whole system in my place, tools, how to deal with it. There was no question of me crying on the floor, not knowing what to do. It was surrendering, crying and surrendering, going through the pain and having the system within me and around me to help me get up very quickly, very swiftly, back on my knees, back on my feet, taller in my own frequency and power than ever before. I know if you can feel it, I feel magnetic. I feel like a million bucks. I feel like the most phenomenal frequency of me I can possibly be right now. And this is exactly the frequency which I'm constantly growing from. I'll be sharing for four months with a small team that will choose to step up together with me into their next chapter. If this is you, do not wait, do not miss your opportunity, take an action, ASAP, buckle up, it's going to be all right, and it's going, going to remember it for your whole life. I'm sending you lots of love, and I will see you soon.